Welcome to Keep Me Posted with Planet Aid. This is Monica Johnson, and today we are going to be talking to Rich Armstrong from Planet Aid, who is our operating manager out in Cleveland, Ohio. And we're also going to be talking to someone special who is doing a program with Planet Aid, and her name is Ashley Berger. Ashley, can you tell us, um, tell us your title and where you work? Well, my name is Ashley Berger, and I am an assistant healthcare administrator at Grafton Correctional, but I am the chief advisor for our incarcerated adult program that deals with Planet Aid. We're the Planet Aid group. That's what we're known as at the at Grafton Correctional. Mm -hmm. And we have about 75 incarcerated adults involved in this group. So we started actually in 2016 here and we're still going strong today. And so it's the Grafton Correctional Institution in Ohio. And tell me a little bit about how this program started and also, you know, how, how rich you came along and, and, and started to work with Ashley. Tell, Tell us a little bit about that. All right. So uh, I actually have been the operations manager since 2014. And the first uh, initial contact we had was 2016 when our then regional manager came to me and said, Rich, we have a program out of Grafton Correctional Institution where they are going to be able to uh, paint and cal." And I thought, that's a great program. That's awesome. And I, and I, and, um, I wanted, you know, as I asked more about it, I learned that, you know, uh, the incarcerated adults can get community service hours uh, to help reduce the fines that they're looking at when they when they get out of prison. And I thought to myself, that is a great way to help somebody get a get a solid start when they come out of the system, you know, because most I, I don't think very many people know. And Ashley, you can correct me on this one, but I think very few people know that. You know, just because uh, an incarcerated adult serves time, they, that does not mean that their fines go away. They still have all the fines. So they wind up returning to, you know, a life of crime, and then they wind up right back in uh, in, the, in the system as an incarcerated adult. So I thought to myself, what a great opportunity to accomplish two, two goals, right? Not only are we a nonprofit company, and can definitely use the community service hours on our bins because we do have over 2000 bins. Um, but also it's an opportunity to help these incarcerated adults get a great start when they leave the system, when, when, when they you know, eventually leave the, uh, uh, the Grafton Correctional Institution. That's, that's, that's great. Um, you know, and it's funny because I really didn't know that much about that until I, I actually work with um, a program as well with incarcerated adults as well and, and found out about these fines. Ashley, can you tell us a little bit about why, what are these, what are these fines all about? Are they fees or fines? It's a little of both. Mm-hmm. They, um, they come from court costs and uh, restitutions that the incarcerated adults owe for when they're sentenced and for their crimes that they've committed. Okay. And they do serve their time. But when, as Rich said, when they do go home, they're also responsible for paying back the court fees, the costs, and the fines that were put on them, as well as the sentence. Mm-hmm. And it is a struggle, as most people know, being a convicted felon and finding employment. So finding those jobs that pay substantial to be able to provide for your family, to be able to put food on your table for your children, And then also having to still owe these court costs and these fees really puts our restored citizens in a position that, you know, sometimes they don't make wise choices on how to pay them off. But that's why this with working with Planet Aid, it gives our population an avenue to have those fees and fines paid for because they're working and they're working very hard on restoring these bins. And moving forward, that they know that they can go home and not have to worry about having to have the funds to pay this back so, to society. 
Ashley, tell me a little bit about the go home to stay home program, because I think that's kind of it kind of touches on that as well, doesn't it? A little. So our mission is very much about making sure that when our population does go home, that we do want them to stay home. That's and it encompasses our director's mission, which is to reduce recidivism in Ohio. And that's our hugest goal in the Ohio prison system. And we just want to move forward with that. And being a part of this group with Planet Aid, it's helping show our mission and stand behind what our mission represents. So I guess my question to both of you, um, what have you observed in how the the incarcerated adults would kind of take to this program? What have you observed about how they feel financially, you know, being able to restore those fines and also how it makes them feel to be able to have that job um, and that kind of purpose, I would imagine. They love it. I can answer that in one word, enthusiasm. Yes. Yes. When Rich comes in, they're so excited to see Rich. And when I, I got to meet Rich back in 2020, right after COVID. And I knew we were going to hit it off right away because on his mask had our favorite sports team on it. And that was our, it was our bonding moment at that point. I knew I was like, Oh, Rich is my person here. Uh -oh, so, uh -oh. <laughs> but you, you know, he, he's just been just our relationship with planet aid has just been such an amazing journey and when they come in and seeing how our our population, they, when the boxes come in, it's they're a symbol of what our population is. You know, our population, when they first come into the system, they're a little worn down and they're not ready for society. And then, you know, we put in some work, we do some rehabilitation with all of the programs that we have to offer, you know giving them the extra attention that they need to get better. And then we're sending them back out just like we send out the boxes ready for society again. Oh my God. I love that so much. <laughs> Did you just come up with that? <laughs> but it, it's a rehabilitation. <laughs> we're, we're, that's what we do. We're great. Yeah, that's really, that's really great. And, and um, they must have such a, a pride about those, those box, those bins going out and the work that they do because of Very that, much. you know, very much. Uh, They're very proud. Very good. And and Rich, um, when I sent you an email about this, you said, I'm so proud of this program. Tell me a little bit about your pride in this program. I'm going to tell you what, the work that uh, the, the, the group does over at Go Home to Stay Home is unprecedented. I mean, it's, it's um, the, the bins when they come out, uh, they're immaculate. I mean, they, they take their time to literally put tiny little marks to make sure that the decals are 100%, uh, you know, um, that's what I'm looking for, level. That, you know, that they're, they're perfectly straight. They're not crooked. The paint is excellent. If, you know, lately we've been priming the bins and then they would be painting them. The, the program at Grafton asked for a primer just so, hey, you know, sometimes we can touch it up and make it look a, a little better, and they do. So I take a lot of pride in the fact that these bins come out and I can take them right off the truck, like literally leave Grafton and take them right to a site to place. I don't even need to look at them because I have that kind of confidence in the program. And, I you know, and the people that they have heading up the program, like Ashley, um, it's just it's so great to work with. So I'm very proud. Absolutely. Because I know their bins look better than anybody else's in our company. Wow. <laughs> Not that it's a competition, <laughs> but. <laughs> so, Ashley, right before, um, you know, we we started recording this, we were talking about that little bin in the back. Can you grab that for me and My tell little... me the story about that? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, we have a lot of talent here at Grafton Correctional. And this is just one of the many pieces of art that our population has produced. And they actually made this for me and it's a full functioning bin with the Planet Aid logo and my name on it. 
for working with our just the group and supporting them. So they're they're fantastic. I know, and I saw it, and it it sits on my behind me every day, and I see it, and it's you know it's just a nice reminder of everything that we do here. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> The other thing that I wanted to ask is there is a ringing the bell um, process. Tell me what this bell is all about. Well, our president of our group, he came up with the idea and he said that, you know, this is just something that give give our restored citizens a little pride walking out the door, letting them know that you did this. We're proud of you. You're congratulations. You're a restored citizen now. And, you know, he approached me with the idea and we ran with it. And our warden, Warden Foley, is so supportive of it. And he really much wanted us to put this bell up. So right before our um, incarcerated adult becomes a restored citizen, they come up to this bell that's right in the middle of our compound and it's very large and very loud and they'll ring it and it you just hear you hear the rest of our population cheering for them and they walk out the door and then they get to be with their family it's it's a really beautiful process and it's very it's very special and you know, i have a lot of them coming up to me going i can't wait to ring that bell now and it's, <laughs> It's something wow. else to look forward to, to just let them know that they did this. And it's, we couldn't have done it without Planet Aid helping us. And it's just something to show how important Planet Aid is to us here at Grafton Correctional as well. And I, I, I even thought I saw some signage above it that, was it above it that that said Planet Aid on it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it says, hope is job one. And that is our um, director of our prisons, Miss um, Chamber Smith. That's one of her missions. And so we're very supportive of it. And it really does showcase this is where we want hope. We want to give hope and show that there is hope there. So and Planet Aid helped us show that and move forward with it. So I, I believe that, that Grafton is probably a model for many other um, correctional institutions. What would you say about that? I mean, to someone who wanted to do something like that, um, even if it's not with Planet Aid, but just to kind of give some kind of dignity, some kind of purpose, some kind of mission to incarcerated adults. Um, Grafton Correctional is a forefront for reentry and being, I, I personally believe, and I am biased, it is the best prison in, uh, in the United States, probably not ju just Ohio, but we really are very forward <laughs> with our reentry motives and helping get our incarcerated pop population back to restored citizens and to be the best neighbor that I want them to be because they're my neighbor too when they come home. And I just think it's a great cause. And I think being involved and helping is the, is the number one job. And it, it's everybody can do it. It could be something small. It could be something large. But it's one step and one starts the journey. And I'm just very thankful to be a part of this journey with Planet Aid and with Grafting Correctional as I well. Was, I was a very big part of the construction of the bell um, and uh, the different supplies that were needed. Uh, I'm looking forward to the friends and family event that's coming up uh, in July, where I'll get to witness the ringing of the bell, and uh, I'll also get to um, just to see the bell. Uh, it's you know up close and personal, if you will, um, which I really enjoy those uh, family and friends events. Uh, as a side note, they are uh, you know it's just it's it's an opportunity to connect with a lot of the incarcerated adults who are, in my opinion great guys. I mean, they really are. The, the Grafton program, uh, I think is, is phenomenal. Talking about pride, you know, I, I take a lot of pride in knowing that Planet Aid is a big part of, you know, when, you know, the incarcerated adults go home, that they are going to stay home. I'm, I'm very proud of that. Um, so I'm also very thankful for the opportunity to work with, you know, Ashley and, uh, and the group over at Grafton. Um, so yeah, yeah, I gotta, 
I got a lot of pride too. <laughs> <laughs> To me, I just feel like the, the program is so wonderful and it's it's very inspiring. So I'm, I'm just really, you know, hoping that for years to come, it'll continue to be, you know, the collaboration will continue. So thank you so much to you, Ashley. Obviously, you mean a lot to the people who are there in the program. You know, <laughs> nobody just makes like a little bank like that just for nothing. <laughs> they have to, you know, <laughs> they have to have something invested in you as well. So thank you so much for all the work that you're doing. And Rich, on behalf of Planet Aid, of course, you know, thank you so much for all the work that you have done because you are really the face of Planet Aid while, while you know, this, this program is going on. So, um, Thank you so much, and we really appreciate you coming on today. Have a great day.